going to the way for an Uber because our tube got delayed. It's currently on the way, and Anna was just about to bring one of the sex numbers up there. This is the bag. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my vlog channel. Now, I have spent the morning being super, super productive actually. So, I know in the clips you've seen me making my breakfast and you've seen me watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I'm still watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I've literally not watched it in weeks and weeks and weeks. So I've got like four episodes to catch up on, which is really great. I love when I, I love when I don't mean to miss episodes, but accidentally miss them and then I have a bunch to catch up on. So I've been doing that. I've had a cup of tea and stuff. And then I've just packaged a bunch of stuff from Depop. Now I put a bunch of my clothes on Depop yesterday. Did a little clear out for a main channel video, which will be going up really really soon however that did mean i had to get up this morning package some parcels that i'm going to now take to the post office i'm all dressed and ready basically today we are filming another episode of entirely accurate and that being said if you're watching this a new episode's up it went up today so for, for those of you watching this it went up a couple days ago it's really really funny i think it's so much funnier than the first one so if you guys found the first one entertaining then you'll definitely find the second one even better let's just say we're really opening it we talk about a lot of different things and um it gets kind of messy but today we're actually going into the studio again and filming an episode obviously that's gonna go up over the Christmas period we've been trying to like pre-film a couple of them just so we can guarantee that there's gonna be one every single week and this is the final one we need to film before like we all let like, go see our parents and stuff for Christmas and then the next time we're back in the studio will be New Year however really really exciting we have a special guest on the episode and I wasn't gonna like announce the guest until the episode comes out however I want to vlog I want to try and daily vlog as much as I possibly can and obviously this is my day and the episode is not going up for a couple of weeks so it's gonna be really hard to vlog around today and not get the person in so so that being said the special guest is Amber now you will have seen Amber in my Paris trip vlogs I basically went on a trip to Paris with Gap which I vlogged the entire thing if you want to go watch that I absolutely love those vlogs and I met Amber there Amber was one of the girls on the trip and we got along really really well and we've stayed in contact since then and I put a thing up on my Instagram story that like, asking people if they want to come on the podcast because we thought like we should try and get a guest on every like three episodes so once a month we have some some special guests on and Amber replied saying she'd love to come on which is great because we obviously spoke about having her on as well hasn't Anna I've not actually met her before so it's gonna be really exciting we're meeting at three o'clock to obviously get a chance for Anna and has to meet Amber. Obviously me and Amber to catch up, run through the plans for the podcast and then we are filming between four and five. And yeah, that's the situation. But before any of that, like I said, I need to go to the post office. I also, I'm gonna nip into Selfridges, I think, because basically a few vlogs ago, I showed you that I wanted to get this bag from Prada. Now, when I depopped a bunch of my stuff yesterday, I managed to sell quite a few pieces and also I put a couple of my bags on there. I've since had offers on my bag. So I think I pretty much sold. I'm, I don't wanna jinx it because I feel like these offers are gonna get rejected but so far my bags are up for sale so technically in my head I'm selling my bags which means I can buy the Prada one now I didn't get a text from the guy saying that they come back in stock and I, I don't know if it's because he may have lost my number or whatever but I'm gonna go in today on my way to the podcast studio I'm gonna meet Anna there actually and we're gonna go and see if the bag is in stock I'm, I'm literally praying because I've not stopped thinking about it since and it'd be a great Christmas present to myself from myself but yeah that's the situation good morning everyone I hope you're all well I've decided as well that I want to focus more on my vlog channel than my main channel which is kind of bad but I don't want to I've been in a real rut and I filmed like three videos last week for my main channel which are never ever going to go up because I started editing them and like, I hate this so much so I'm going to try vlogging as best as I can I listened to a really fun podcast with David Dobrik and Casey Neistat last night when I were in bed and it really inspired me to just get up and actually like vlog and like create something and I keep saying I would love to be a daily vlogger I would love to vlog all the time like even especially more so as I'm coming to the end of uni and I'm going to be moving house and I think we're moving out of London and like I want to travel as much as I possibly can and also I have a quite a lot of creative freedom with my actual job that like I can basically work from wherever it is really time consuming but if I actually put the hours in correctly and plan properly I have the best job ever in terms of the where I can work from so I really want to instead of just saying I want to be a daily vlogger and I want to do it and I want to do all this stuff like why not start now so that's what I'm going to try and do I'm going to see how long this lasts for hopefully a long time because like I said I've always said this I love my vlog channel so much more than anything else I'm currently doing maybe aside from my Instagram but if I love it so much then why am I not doing it like what am I waiting for you know so I'm going to try my best with that being said I'm going to package up all these parcels or finish packaging up these parcels and then I'm going to head to Westfields I'm going to show you my outfit actually because this is really cute it's literally the most simple outfit in the entire world 
world, but I have the white beanie on that I bought the other day. It is a Fleorucci beanie, however, I don't know if I said this in that vlog, but I don't like the logo of it. I wish it was just a plain white, and I find I have a weird shaped head, so getting any beanie that looks nice on my head is hard. I think this one looks semi alright. I then have this knitted jumper from Weekday. It's got like a little side slit in there. I don't know if you can see it because it's all black, but it's got like a little slit up the side, so if I weren't wearing a t-shirt underneath, you'd see on my stomach, which is kind of fun, I guess, if I had abs. And then I just have some super baggy corduroy trousers on from weekday as well. Little shoelace as my belt. I ran a club the other day with this shoelace belt, actually. And the guy that was selling the aftershaves and the perfumes, like, at the thing where you wash your hands, at the sinks, he started laughing at me and was like, is that all you can do? Like, ha ha ha, that's so funny. And I was like, ha ha ha. I do actually have a belt, but I think this is just cool, so. Anyway. But yeah, this is my outfit. I'm super cozy. I'm gonna put a big coat on, and then I'm gonna head to Westfields. But first, actually, I'm gonna finish watching Keeping Up With The Card because priorities, you know? Right, I'm all dressed and ready now. The Kardashians is off. This is what I'm wearing. So, I layered the jumper that I had on earlier with a shirt that I have from Weekday. Oh no, this is not from Weekday, actually. This is from ASOS. And then I bought this Helly Hansen jacket when I was in LA. If you saw the LA vlog, you'll have seen me buy it. And I've literally never worn it since buying it. And I said in that vlog, I know I'm probably never gonna wear this, but it was literally like $7. And it's really, really cool. So I put this on and then just throw on my Balenciaga track shoes. And I actually really, really like this outfit. So, all the parcels are in the Urban Outfitters bag right there. I'm gonna head to the post office and then I'm gonna meet Haz from the post office at the tube station and then we're gonna head to meet Amber. <laughs> Right, it's literally been, oh my god, my throat, I don't know what's happened to my voice. This is not good considering we're filming the podcast. It's been half an hour since I last filmed the last clip. I've literally just been stood in the post office for like 35 minutes waiting to post like four parcels. And when I say it, it's the busiest the post office has ever been. Like I've never ever in my entire life living in London, even when I did all my merch and like dropped that entire thing, I'd literally posted like 300 parcels in one go one time. And I've never ever seen it so busy. It stretched the full length of the WH Smiths. Like that was crazy. It went quite quick quickly and the like staff there were being super super great but I just know how stressful that must be um but now I'm late now I'm running late to meet Anna I also need to eat I need to meet Hazard at the station now which is where I'm walking to I don't feel like today's gonna go as smooth as I thought it would and also I like I've got the worst eye bags in the world so that's also fabulous <laughs> Selfridges. I have just bought my bag, however, I've not actually got the bag. Basically, it came into stock on Saturday, and then literally within minutes, they said it sold out again. So, I've basically bought myself onto the waiting list. So, I bought the bag, I just need to come in and collect it one day this week. What happens when um, you got Muncie, honey? No, it's what happens when I need that bag. Yes, that's what it is. Now I can finally sleep, but peace. And now we're gonna try and make Anna buy something. Apparently, this is how you try shoes on these days just put it in front of your foot and just stand in the mirror. Right, I'm trying to persuade Haz or just someone else to buy something. Because Anna always says, I'm, I'll get it if you get it. And she always says, I'll get something if you get something, then I get something and no one else does. I always say, I'm never getting anything. Right, we're trying to convert. What time is it, by the way? If you buy the shoes, I'll buy the shoes. Oh! Will she there, or will she say, I'm going to buy them online? 424? No, 224. <laughs> yeah, they're really cute. But what would you put in that? Like, what can you fit in a triangle? In a triangle? You'd have to have it standing up in the middle. Oh, you'd have to have it standing up right at all times. And I'd be like, I'm gonna buy a bag today, I promise. <laughs> Alright, so we stood waiting for an Uber because our tube got delayed. It's currently on the way, and Anna, we're just about to bring one of the sex numbers off there. And a group of viewers just walked past. Byron literally can't stop lying today, so Get your phone history up then. I want to see the keypad, what you've just been typing in. Oh, so you've cleared it, have you? You silly, silly girl. Well, them girls just saw you calling a sex line, so hope you're happy with yourself. Right, we've arrived at the podcast studio now. The neon sign that's been highly anticipated is actually here, but it's not up yet, so mm. it'll be up next time we come in. We're going to record the episode now. I don't know how it's going to go. We've not had a guest on. It'll go fine, obviously, but I mean, like, we've not had a guest on, so I'm really intrigued to see the dynamic. Uh, but Amber's lovely anyway, so we've just been catching up in Bills. We had a little coffee, and now we're going to get... Recording. We're gonna get groovy. Get groovy. Down and die. All of the teachers are like, Anna, just go. And I was like, that's really? Good. They were like, just go and do it. Like, you want to do YouTube? Like, if it fails, just come back next year. Yeah, that's really good. Which was really that's good. They had did, a really good. You did have a career as you were going into it, though. Yeah, that's true. I was like, I wasn't like super stable, but I was earning money from it. Like, I was really lucky. Apart from like the odd like stack in shelter, I've never really had to yeah. have a normal job, I'm gonna call yeah. it. Yeah, we're doing quotation marks. Yeah, quotation marks, like, normal job. <laughs> we can get to move the manners. Fucking ruined. 
Guess what, guys? We're going shopping again. My bags arrived. Yes. 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 We just wrapped the podcast. Right, so I briefly tried to mention on the tube that we've wrapped up the podcast now. It's really, really nice. I didn't actually film anything with Amber. One, because I didn't want to just shove a camera in her face. I've only met the girl, I've met her twice, really silly. I spent like four days with her. I didn't want to just shove a camera in her face and we were chatting and catching up. But also, we didn't want to chat and catch up too much because we wanted to do that on the podcast. But it went really, really well. However, we are now on Oxford Street. I got a text halfway through saying that my bag is actually in stock now and I can go collect it. So I forced everyone to come back to Selfridges on Oxford Street. Not that they were on the way. Like we could have easily gone home from here. I know for a fact I I can't hold my own shit and I have no patience, so I needed to come and get it now. So here we are. How happy are you about that? Well, Has wants to go home. Anna wants to try some shoes on. I thought, well, while I'm at Selfridges, I'm not going to come to London now before Christmas. I might as well try on some shoes. Exactly, you know, Christmas spirit and all. Oh We're going to go in Selfridges. And we're back. I've come to collect my bag. Whew. I'm back home. I don't know why it's so dark. Where should I sit and do this? I want to unbox my bag, but I don't know where to sit and do it. Um, I'm going to get my actual tripod, you know? Let's do it. There we are. Look, that's a little better. Why is it so tall, though? Like, we now I'm tall, but come on. Right, so you probably already know what bag it is. I feel like every Instagrammer ever has the bag. It is Prada. This is the actual bag bag. It reminds me of, in fact, this is so damn similar. Oh, my God. So my little cosmetics bag, which I keep saying to her, I wonder if there's any way I can put a strap on this because I'd love to use it as an actual bag. It's like the pretty much the same size, very fun. So this is the actual bag and then the most exciting part of it is this little little section. So you get another little duffel bag as well and look how cute this is. So it's got like a little, this is meant for AirPods. I'm actually going to use it for AirPods but I'll also probably use it a lot more for um, my lip balm and stuff. I'm just trying to figure out how I actually put this on. Right, there we are. This is the bag. So as you can see you have the little compartment here which you just put all your things in and this is actually meant for airpods but with the right outfit obviously black on black you can't really see what it looks like but i think it's so damn cool i saw so many other girls on instagram obviously wearing the woman's one and I, I do really like the woman's one but it's a lot smaller of a bag and it also has like a chain detail as well i think this is so fun i wear my prada bag most out of any bag in the entire world also love the straps on this bag i don't know if you can see that it says prada along there um but it's super super thick which is what i like love a thick strap obviously you don't have to have the little mini airpods part on it but i think this is so damn cool I just think it'll make every outfit look really fun. Even if you can't see the bag, you can still see this little thing. It reminds me of like very utility vibes. I love Prada. Anyway, little Christmas present to myself from myself, but also I've technically swapped my bags. Like I'm selling the Balenciaga bag for the same price that I bought this for. So like I'm technically just switching the bags out. That's how I try and process it in my head. Anyway, let me know what you think. I think it's really, really cool. Definitely excited to style this with some outfits. Maybe not black on black, but I also think it is kind of cool as well. So yeah, just thought I'd let you know what I've bought. Okay. We're just listening to um, the podcast back from the other day just to get changes done on it. This is how it happens. I don't know. We're all signed to the same management agency. So it's nice to like, meet up with not only the people that manage us, but also like all our friends that do YouTube and stuff as well. I wish Barry would stop chatting shit. Has. Hey. Anna's gone now. Everyone clicks off. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs>